Hey, what's up, guys? Right now, I'm gonna show you how to do fucking Luna Daily, man. How to do Luna Daily is easy mode, man. It's already easy mode. I mean, some people don't know, man. So I'm doing a daily for. I'm doing a story for you guys. So here, you got here on the bottom. We got that move, man. Why we're doing that? Because it give good XP. And after you do seven, you gotta you can uh, get the the chest, and from the chest you can get those level stone reduction or super useful. So let's do that. So we are doing Luna daily, all you do, you click on the moon here, and after that you go to Tacky Mission, you click on it, and you get those two options here. And this one is the Luna daily, the one here on the bottom, here on the bottom, you click on it, you enter, you get inside. Take the quest, take the quest, and like I say, when you get like, when you're gonna do 7 run, when you do 7 run, you get those things every time you kill a boss here, you get this here. And you can turn in that crap here for a key man, and you get that key. The key is here, I think. But so again, I'm gonna click on everything, I'm gonna get that key. Is that this one? Oh my god, I'm clicking on everything. I think I don't have enough. Yeah, that's why I need to do the turn in. Do the turn in when you got seven of those one. But I mean, you need seven of those to turn in into those one. It's like two or one. I don't remember. It's one for one. Thanks and it's tough to make me do fucking use that turn in. Oh, that's two for one. Oh, it's one for one. That's good. So when you got seven, trying to do those turn in. So when you do seven Luna daily, you get you get seven of those. You can change it for those orange, and after that you can change it to get the fucking key, man. This key, wow! This key to open the chest and get a chance to get us not a chance. You get the stone. You get the stone from it. Cause you got to start to turn the quest. Whatever, turn the quest to the NPC. After pick up those crystal here, pick up the crystal, pick up the crystal. Get inside. My tricks, basically, what I do, man. Here's the chest. You click on the chest. When you get the key, you open. You will get a, a a treasure. And inside this treasure, you open it. What it is? It's here. Open it. You get get a stone reduction. That's pretty easy, right? Business, business, business. Uh, my tricks, what I do, I put like here, I put the one here, you got three type of cannon, I put always like this one, the first one here, and on the edge here, I put like the, the big one here, the single shot aether cannon, so it look like this at the start, I answer your question, just pass the fence here, uh, tricks too man, you can try to use a pistol, like right now I use a pistol, so if you get a dual with glass, or like you can use like a sword or a dagger, uh, for like a sword and a shield, try to use just the like this weapon will give you the faster attack speed. Then, so you can see here, I got faster attack speed. That means that my skill are coming back faster. And you get in the middle of them up here and do like one, two, one, two, one, two. Try to not walk past here because if you walk past here, that will you will take damage from the fire. So just stand here, do them up and get the heal here. You got the green heal here. If you jump in the middle, I will heal you. Or just wait. Uh, basically, it's gonna get a mad mad mob, and the mad mob when you get, you need to do the skill five on it. So sk save the skill five for it. What's up, Virgilius? Good to see you. We'll just do that. Do those skill. We go. We should get the wave. There we go. We got the mad 74 C man. Save the skill five for him. When you get close, use the skill. You kill him, and he will drop those item here. I got one. So because I got one, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna wait for the other wave because I want to put another big cannon like this right here. Because uh, why make you go? You don't put the 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 second one. I want to do AOE because they are fucking bug and they never work. So that's why we're not using them. There we go, waiting for them. You can hit them if you get here and you hit them there. They will target you before the fence normally, and basically they will do less damage to your fence. Because I mean, you can go heal yourself here, but the fence you cannot heal the fence. So if you can take the damage for the fence, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good, man. Well, that's why I'm like in the front, so I can hit them up before they get to the fence. And they normally they switch to me. It can be bad if it's like if it's the horseman. Try to not do that because if they're horseman, they will fucking rape you. So don't let them rape you. So some if they are horseman, let them hit the fence first. If it's like those little mob, you can do it. Like you can see, my HP go down. I'm gonna heal here. That's good. It's less damage on the fence. More chance to get a S rank. <laughs> You can target them too like if you get enough cannon. Like you can say I got only one ear. You can switch this kid 3-4, 3-4, 3-4. They do faster damage. 
I go just burn them. There we go. Now we should get uh, that's another end of the way. So we should get the mat 37, 74, mat 74, mat 74. Should be there soon, waiting for him. Hello? Hey, oh my god, that's the. Yeah, the horse man. The horse man do a lot of damage, man. I have a heal. I don't have the heal, so I'm gonna let them hit the fence before. If they turn to me, what you do, you just like stop DPSing. Like this, stop DPSing, they will go back on the fence. DPS them. Stop DPS them so they go back on the fence. Them at 37 here. Save the skill 5 just for him. Let's see what I get. I got 1. So now I got 1 plus 1, so I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna put this one here. The Bright Aether Charge Cannon. Because those ones do the more damage. Now I'm gonna try to target the one who's taking the more damage and do like 3 4, 3 4 on it to burn it faster. I, I need to let the fence take some damage. I cannot tank those guys, man. They do way too much damage. There we go. Do AoE. Try to get the aggro a little bit. I still have HP and now I can heal because I got the HP here. Gotta save that little fence. I mean, other mob normally you can just tank them, but uh, the horsemen they do more damage than the other one. Let's go heal myself because we are ending. It's gonna be the boss. Da, da, da. Let's see which horseman is taking more damage. This one. I just target him, and it's because he's taking more damage than the other one. I just do like 3 4 3 4 on him to burn him faster. Faster than doing the AoE. 3 4 3 4 3 4 3 4. It's okay, even if my fans take damage, I'm gonna show you a trick. One second. 3 4 3 4 3 4. Okay, the tricks for the fatty, okay? You get the closer of the fire without touching the fire. So, I mean, the fire, I think it's like here. So, I'm just gonna get like here. Like that. Here. So, when the fatty is gonna come, he's gonna target me. And he's gonna get burned by the fire. It's a trick, so you will see. So, I'm gonna kill those mob. Those ones just do one damage. They are just there to waste your cannon. So, faster you burn them. You gonna see that. Even if my fence have no HP, I can kite it. I'm gonna show you a trick. So even if your fence suck, man, you can still go up the stair and run around here. You will see, man. So now we're getting ready for him. Don't get too close of the fire or you will get one hit, okay? But you can tank it on the fire. So that we take more damage. Oh my god, that's a nice start. Why I cannot do skill on him? Okay, get here. Try to get the aggro. I'm already supposed to hit him before. I was bugged, man. The fuck? What the fuck? I wasn't able to hit him. He should switch to me. There we go. Switch to me. We're gonna make him walk out of the fence, but without touching the fire. Let's go. Without touching the fire. If you touch the fire, you will die. Make it run closer. You can hear. And you should get hit by the flame. Not you, but him. If I can bring it. Cannot make it move. What are you supposed to move? If he move, you can get him like get hit by the fire. I'm gonna go heal. Okay, once again, gonna go heal. You can kite him around the map. Watch this. Make him move, move. Get him, him away from the fence. As long as he target on you, you can make him move. Like this. Jump over the other side of the fence. Still kiting him. As long as he's away from the fence, though, your fence will not die. And after that, you can just kite him around the stair. You kite him around the stair. You don't even need to hit him, just like kite him all around here. You hug the corner, hug the other corner here, and just walk around the fence. And the cannon are still shooting him, and the NPC are still shooting him. And he's losing HP. Like this. He's still losing HP. The NPC are touching him. Kill those level mobs so the NPC don't waste their target on him. Oh, well, you can see the heal is back, so I can thank him. I can thank him because the heal is back, so I thank him a little bit. Take some damage. To make sure you don't go to my fence. Because if you stop DPSing him and he hit you, he's gonna go back to the fence, get the heal, come back on him. 
There we go, man. There we go. Easy ass rank, and my fans got saved, man. Easy peasy, man. That's all you do, man. That's all you do, man. There we go. S rank. So I'll answer your question. If you got any other question, feel free to ask. Uh, like I say, I use those cannons. Uh, make sure you use like um, make sure you use like a star or like a XP charm before you kill those things. You can go out and go back inside and loot your meat too. It's good. Uh, it's uh, with the meat you get this item, and when we get like seven, you can turn in to get that chest. And I always use those cannons, those cannons, don't use like the, the one who do AOE, the one who do AOE half of time it will just like stop and not even shoot man, so it's garbage. So you put the little one here, and after that you put this one, and if you get two on the second, on the first one, you put two here, and you wait for the last, the last mad uh, guy, you put another one like this, and if he only give you one, just put another one like this one here, like this. That easy. I will answer your question. If you got any other question, feel free to ask on the bottom. I will reply to you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys later. Take care.